Hi everyone! Today's video, I thought I'd tell you my tips on telling the difference between real and fake LPS. To start with, can you see any fake LPS here? It could be any number. The correct answer is, this is a fake LPS, while these two are real. If you don't know why, then carry on watching the video for my tips on how to tell the difference. Before I get into the tips, I'd just like to let you know two things. Number one is that I knew that Collie was fake when I bought her. I haven't been scammed. I only bought her for a custom, and it's much cheaper than buying a real LPS and then ruining it and have to buy another one. Secondly, these tips mostly apply to people who buy LPS off eBay, but they can apply to other platforms as well, such as Trading, Macari, Spock, that kind of thing. Tip number one, check your seller. The first thing I do when I'm buying an LPS is I set my country filter to Europe only. This is to filter out sellers from further away with really high shipping fees and also to filter out sellers from Hong Kong and China. This is because nearly every single LPS I've seen from Hong Kong or China has been a fake. Another red flag is when a seller does this. Hmm, who to scam today? Littlest pet shop, child, toy, gift, fun, play, happy, puppy, dog, 347, spaniel. There. If a seller includes loads of random, vague words about the LPS in the description, please don't buy it. It's probably fake. One last thing to look out for with a seller is the other things they're selling. If they're selling lots of other rare LPS, or Big Five LPS, and there are things below them that say, 21 sold today, then it's probably not a good idea to buy as it's likely they're being mass produced and you're being scammed. If the LPS is advertised as being brand new but it's inside a tin or there's no packaging on show, the likelihood is they call it brand new because it's just come out of a factory, a fake factory. Tip number two, photos. If the seller has really blurry photos that won't show one specific angle of the LPS, they could be trying to hide something. Now, this is not the case with a lot of sellers. It could just be that they're not very good photographers or they simply forgot to upload the last photo. However, if they have a really blurry photo of the foot magnet or the neck peg, there's a good chance that they're trying to hide that it isn't real. If in any doubt, just ask the seller to send you another picture in better quality of whatever it is they're blurring out. If for some reason they can't send you it, then you can make that decision, but personally, I'd just walk away. My third tip is to compare. What I would do is find a picture on the internet of the LPS you want to buy. Just type in the number of the LPS or a description of it. A good source for these images is Nicole's LPS blog. All the photos on her site are of real LPS, although not all LPS are featured on there. And what you do is you just make a quick comparison between the LPS you want to buy and that photo. If there are any obvious changes like the eye positioning is slightly out or the paint's a different colour or one part's supposed to be red when it's actually green, they are all good signs that it could be a fake. For looking at the details in comparison to the seller's pictures, it's better to look at an LPS you already own, even if it's nothing like the LPS you want to buy. I would pick an LPS from the same kind of generation. So these two LPS are from what I like to call the shiny generation, where their eyes were shiny and the paint was a lot more glossy and the lines were more defined. When looking at a picture of the LPS you want to buy or comparing it to an LPS of the same breed that you already own, remember that fake LPS often have smaller and slightly deformed eyes. So this LPS, in comparison to my other two colleagues, has eyes are slightly smaller and the paint doesn't quite go the same way in the picture. So the eyes are a massive telltale of whether an LPS is real or fake, so pay close attention to that. Now for my most in-depth tip, magnets and holes. If an LPS has a red magnet and it doesn't look like it's been painted, then it's real. With that in mind, if an LPS has a red magnet on one photo and your seller is selling a version with a blue magnet, Proceed with caution, because I've done that before and the LPS has turned out to be real, but not all LPS have both versions of magnets. If you're looking at an LPS with a blue magnet, 
Look for imperfections of the magnet. That's what makes it real, actually. So this LPS has a bit of plastic over the magnet and a little raised bump there with some kind of irregularity in it. Although the foot is completely flat, the magnet doesn't sit quite flat in the foot. I do have a few LPS that are real that have magnets that sit flat in the foot, which I will show you in a minute. But for the most part, if an LPS has irregularities in the magnet and it doesn't look perfect, then it's probably real. I just wanted to show you this one exception. So the magnet is lying very flat in the foot and you can see there's a very faint ring around it. It does look like it could be fake, but this LPS is real and it does, it does feel like a real LPS. It bobbles properly, it's got quite matte smooth paint and everything else about it is real. So don't just take one factor as making the LPS fake, you've got to consider everything. Holes in feet are a tricky business because there's so much disparity between them. So this LPS is real and you can see there's a round edge to the hole but there's a hexagon in the middle and there's a little slope towards the hexagon, there's a bit of a gap distance. So look for that and your LPS should be real. However, this LPS is fake and the foot is very flat, the hole appears quite 2D and there's no slope towards the hexagon part, it's just a round part that goes straight into the hexagon. My next tip is looking at the neck peg. Ever wondered why LPS do this? It's because there's a tiny bit of plastic between their head and their body. So this bit of plastic is clear on this real LPS and around the neck there's another bit of translucent plastic and then there's another ring around here. This fake LPS doesn't have that ring of plastic on the same level as this ring and this ring is indented not embossed. The neck peg is also made of translucent white plastic here so that's a sign that an LPS is fake and it bobbles differently as well. Finally, if you've bought an LPS and it's arrived and you're not sure if it's real or not Compare it to an LPS that you do have, or if you don't have any LPS at all, just listen to these tips and try and apply them. <laughs> Real and fake LPS bobble differently. So fake LPS feel more restricted when you move their head, and you can move them kind of from side to side without their head bobbling, whereas if you do that with a real LPS, the head will kind of like do 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 dip and slide. Real LPS have quite a wide range of movement, but it does feel like the head gets stuck at some points. Fake LPS don't really have that, the head just goes all the way around, there's no getting stuck, it just always seems fixed upright. Honestly, there's no way to explain the difference in the plastic, but there is a difference. If you feel you can't squidge this LPS head as much as you can squidge a fake's head, and the bodies although they look very similar and do feel very similar they are made of a different kind of plastic this is this plastic just feels inferior somehow this plastic is probably a bit heavier but don't quote me on that thank you for watching just a few things even if the lps displays signs of being fake don't jump to conclusions as sometimes the pictures can just be a little bit off or there can be some factory error with the lps another thing is if you're buying a pet off the internet or from just anyone who's a seller Please refrain from jumping to conclusions and giving them bad reviews or reporting them or blocking them or harassing them. That's not necessary and either the seller has no idea that the LPS is fake or that's what they do for a living. So either way you're not going to help the problem by harassing or posting bad reviews about the seller. And if the seller doesn't know that the LPS is fake or maybe you've got it wrong, it could really harm their reputation on that website. So just please keep that in mind when you're buying your PS on the internet. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video soon. Bye!